Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Scooter's World. <laughs> I'm your host, Scooter, coming to you live from the Granville Guitars World Headquarters here in lovely St. Petersburg, Florida. Today is March 22nd, 2021. And if you looked at my last video, you saw the Granville Linus guitar. This is the Granville Lucy guitar. You've probably seen this in a few videos. Uh, I played it in the Super Chief video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I've never really uh, presented the features of this guitar properly. So um, it, it has c features in common with the Linus guitar. Uh, Three-piece alder body and a quarter-inch maple top. And this one I stained with a very dark black stain and wiped it off immediately. And it really stained it hard, which I liked. And then I went over the top of that with a whole bunch of coats of amber tint nitrocellulose lacquer. And it produced this kind of bourbon-y uh, shade, which I really love. I love it. Um, it's... It's just a great color. You can see I play it all the time. You can see where my arm is starting to wear at the finish there. Right in that area, it's dulling a little bit. I can buff that out if I need to. But Anyway, uh, the bridge on this one is uh, Wilkinson uh, with the compensated brass saddles. Pickups are a little different in this guitar. This does not have Granville pickups in it. It has DiMarzio's. Uh, this is the Area T615. Um, one of my favorite Telecaster pickups, frankly. It's a beautiful sounding pickup. It's noise canceling. And it has that twang that you would want out of a Telecaster bridge pickup without the noise. And then in the neck position, we have the uh, DiMarzio Area T neck. A, a very fine pickup. I love that pickup a lot. Uh, DiMarzio makes excellent products, and these two pickups are no exception. Uh, control scheme is exactly the same as on uh, the Linus guitar. We have some cue parts knobs, which I like. Tastefully decorative. And nice heavy knob. It works really well. Switchcraft three-way switch. Uh, nice black-white-black pickguard from our friends at WD Music. And uh, uh, the neck is uh, maple with a rosewood board and medium fret wire. It might be medium jumbo. I haven't measured the, the wire on this. It might be slightly larger than what's on the Linus guitar. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll, I haven't actually measured it yet. But I uh, did something similar with the headstock, but I just did it to the face of the headstock on this neck uh, with the uh, nitrocellulose lacquer and uh, the same tuners with the uh, staggered posts. Let's flip over and see the back of the body. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to grab it by the neck here. I did, uh, I did the tummy cut on the back. Um, this whole body was done in nitro lacquer, and it just took forever to cure. Honestly, I hate using nitro. I really do. Um, it, it produces a fine result when it's finished, but boy, <laughs> it just it takes forever to cure. Don't be in a hurry with nitro lacquer, folks. It just you know, in my experience, it, it just really takes a lot of time as compared to, you know, regular lacquers. But, uh, yeah, it looks wonderful. And, you know, if you've got the time, why not? Uh, like I said, same control scheme, uh, access from the back. Both guitars have the, uh, the modern, uh, oh, what's this called? But the modern jack ferrule that actually screws to the body as opposed to the old school kind that invariably come becomes a pain in the ass um, same neck mounting scheme the Bill Kirchen neck mount uh, this one has the Dunlop strap locks on it which all my guitars have and probably always will except for my Clapton strap which I'm keeping stock um, again we got the the uh, one piece maple neck and it doesn't have a skunk stripe because on these necks the uh, truss rod is inserted before uh, attaching the fretboard to the top of the neck so uh, you don't need that uh, and as a result its truss rod adjustment is at the at the head uh, and you can also see that I have clear aged nitro lacquer on the back of the headstock 
um, and there's the uh, <clears throat> the finish on this neck was a single coat of nitro lacquer just one <clears throat> I wanted to be able to wear through it eventually um, but I wanted it to be protected so uh, yeah yeah that's that's pretty much the long and the short of it one of the beautiful things about telecasters is that they're, they're so simple uh, you know I, I really really think that Leo got it right the first time you know the telecaster is beautiful and the jazz bass is beautiful but by god give me a telecaster and a precision bass and you know you can take over the world uh with that arrangement but yeah this is the granville lucy guitar and this is a guitar i play a lot every day i use it for testing things a lot um the the noise canceling issue or the noise canceling feature rather handles a lot of those issues um that might crop up when you're trying to test an amplifier or whatever uh, but it does give you that classic tone um you know, when pressed, I'm always going to say that my favorite Strat and Telecaster pickups are EMG, and that still is true. It's really hard to beat EMG uh, single-coil style pickups, uh, just for tone and, and noise performance, etc. cetera. Uh, but I am really fond of these DiMarzios. I've done them in a number of guitars. The Granville Bugs guitar has them. Um, the Nash Vegas has them. Um, I've done them. I've put them in guitars for several uh, players and several guitars that I've built um, and every time the the subject comes up this is my go-to is the 615 the area T C 615 in the bridge and the area T neck and it just conquers a lot of issues so well that's basically it for the uh, the Granville Lucy guitar sister to Linus and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little clip if you have any questions about anything we do here at Granville guitars please seek us out on the web www.granvilleguitars.com we're also on facebook and instagram and you can check out the blog a view from a, from the granville bench over at wordpress that's all i know for now be good to one another